I'm freelance size developer and mostly working from my home office, but at least once in a week I'm going out and working from coffee shops. And then I need my everyday touch carry backpack. So let's take a look what I have inside it. But let's talk first about bag. I like that you can handle it like from here, another handle here and didn't sell that in other bags, probably that is kind of popular stuff, but you can hide your straps here. There is space for laptop and iPad or two laptops, whatever is your cup of tea. <laughs> if I'm working from coffee shop, I am grabbing just one device. Most likely that will be MacBook because I can do all and every task that I have to do for my work on MacBook, but just part on them on iPad. Okay, here are the specs for Mac what I have. And here are the specs for iPad. That is not M1 or M2 iPad. I still do not see reason to upgrade because I don't know, Apple do not see reason to <laughs> upgrade macOS and do not deliver any premium features to us. So I'm sticking with oldish iPad, but that works just fine. We have another one, big opening here, pockets. If I feel that I would like to use my big headphones, those are Sony XM4, whatever is full name. Like that they support up to two devices, like that they support connection with cable, just in case my batteries are died off. If I would like to edit some YouTube videos or something, connection with cable is just better because there is no Bluetooth delay. I like that you can pack them in small package. If you are looking into the next generation XM5 head, uh, Sony headphones, those are already can't collapse anymore in such small package. AirPods, Pro Max also as well, you, they will stay just like that, but Sony version 4 of headphones, you can fit them in the jacket pocket, those are small. This backpack is really small, but still, if I would like to go and vlog, I can pack my big camera in this backpack as well, and I have space here for camera and microphone, and this is so name it ND filter, just sunglasses for the camera. Actually, I can pack that and put it in the shelf until spring because it is autumn. Currently it is 8.30 at the morning and if I will turn all the lights off, that will be pitch dark. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's take a look what we have in pockets here. So I have an yeah, Apple Pen here. I'm using it, but it is not necessary to have it with me, but yeah, sometimes it's nice to make hand note. I do not use any more real paper. I try to avoid it, but still sometimes you have to have pen time to time, so I have it here. Wallet, of course, nothing interesting here. USB-C to lightning cable, Apple. Everyone waiting for USB-C. So USB-C cable for Caldegit. Caldegit that will be later here. Another headphones. Those are AirPod Pro, second generation headphones. I got them just a few days ago and I didn't compare sound isolation yet with Sony MX4s. We'll see, maybe I can leave big headphones at home. External SSD drive. I highly recommend you to have them if you are doing any, I don't know, video editing, stuff like that when you need big memory. Internal SSDs are from pure gold, Apple charging premium price for them. External SSDs are relatively cheap, this one terabyte SSD was about 100 bucks. I don't remember when I really used it this last time, but just in case I need to transfer data from USB-A to USB-C device and I have no better options to do that, I have this drive. It was necessary for me to have it with me back in the days when Apple didn't have card reader in MacBooks. Now we have card reader back in it, but still, if I would like to transfer some files to the iPad, this also helps because there is SD and mini SD card, card readers, USB-C port, USB-A port. For 16 and 40 inch MacBook Pro with this dongle you are getting extra USB-A and display port connections. Not must have accessory, but if you are using MacBook Air or 13 inch MacBook Pro with less ports and without card readers and you need those, so this is really nice accessory. I'm using it for a few years already and like it. MacBook charger. That's just because I have paranoia. 
I should leave it at home for short coffee trips. If I'm working half day from the coffee shop, frankly, I don't really need it. Yeah, keys here, nothing fancy. And this is a nice tool from OrbitK. Basically, you can get all your keys together with much smaller and more comfortable to carry around set and you are getting extra tool here screwdriver a bottle opener okay one more small item that is chipolo uh, tag basically i can track my bag using it last but not least thing here this is very interesting stand when i'm working somewhere outside i'm using it as iphone stands quite often i would like to use my phone for call i don't know facetime call and i'm still working on laptop and yeah of course it works also as stand for if i would like to record some time lapses something it just works like tripod for the iphone and also you can use it as a selfie stick and uh, what is interesting it holds not only iphone but i can uh, mount my big camera on that as well it looks kind of silly so small tripod for big camera but it works okay that was it thank you for watching see you next one and like maybe bye <laughs> oh I just realized that I didn't told why I going to work from coffee shops yeah sure that's just to change an environment that is one reason but for cases, for example, I'm working first part of the day in the office, working on kind of deep focus tasks, all that stuff, then I'm taking a lunch break. And during the lunch break, I'm driving to the downtown and sitting down in the coffee shop, finishing my work, having my lunch, finishing my work day there, and at the end of the work day, I'm already in downtown without traffic problems and all that stuff. I have meet my wife and go out or meet friends and go for beer. So. Maybe that's useful for you as well. So <laughs> some kind of hint how to be more effective with time. Okay.